The union of James Harden and the Philadelphia 76ers was a match made in basketball heaven. And I know you thought you knew the whole story, but let me tell you, there's a twist that's been flying under the radar. As the dust settles after a season of sacrifice, the cracks in this once perfect marriage have emerged and it's got everyone talking. Today, we unravel the secrets, the promises, and the sacrifices that led to what could be seen as a shocking betrayal in Philadelphia. A relationship that once was perceived as perfect is now marred by tension and uncertainty. This is James Harden's secret promises and sacrifices that led to a 76ers betrayal. Let's get into it. Now, the offseason has been anything but smooth sailing for the star guard and his once beloved team. Despite exercising that hefty $35.6 million player option, Harden's eye was on the prize. A trade and the Clippers were in his crosshairs. Fast forward, no deal. And get this, reports are surfacing that Harden is not showing up for training camp. It's a saga that keeps getting juicier. Let's rewind to the 2021-22 season. Harden makes headlines with a blockbuster trade that sent Ben Simmons to the Brooklyn Nets and lands him in Philly. He signed with the team on a two-year deal that includes a player option in the second year. Harden had opted out of his $47.4 million player option the week before his return to the Sixers. In the 2022-23 season, he took a huge $15 million pay cut, and he did this all in the name of giving the Sixers the financial flexibility to bolster their roster. Harden said, You have to sacrifice to get to where you've never been. I'm in a really good space on the court and off the court. Harden being smart and strategic knew the game. He understood this supposed sacrifice was linked to the Sixers' hesitancy in offering him a hefty new maximum contract worth over a quarter billion dollars. This was after the way he played following his midseason trade from the Nets. It was a test for both parties, the Sixers evaluating Harden as he had assessed the Nets before. Now, truth be told, it wasn't so much a sacrifice as an unspoken understanding. The dream of recreating those Houston glory days was slipping through their fingers, but they played along. The Sixers, unsure if Harden warranted that massive max contract, and Harden suspecting their doubts. So, they wrapped it up in a sacrifice narrative, a tale that suited everyone until it all unraveled. What Harden didn't anticipate was how much he would be left with when the dust settled. Now, the real drama kicked off when Harden gave up a considerable chunk of change for the 2022-23 season. But it seemed like his sacrifices were falling on deaf ears. The first red flag, a January All-Star snub, breaking his 10-year streak. He was left out, and it hit him hard. The snub was a wake-up call, and it stung. Meanwhile, his former Nets buddies, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, were basking in the glory of being voted in as starters, leaving Harden trailing behind in fourth place among Eastern Conference guards, with Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Brown also ahead. The Sixers, they did put up a public defense, acknowledging the snub and voicing support. Yet, behind the scenes, they were navigating a tight rope. On one hand, they knew treating Harden like the superstar he is was paramount for his performance. But on the flip side, they recognized he hadn't clinched a championship playing in the superstar mode and craved a coach like Rivers to challenge and elevate him. Daryl Morey, the man pulling the strings in Philly, was dead set on keeping James Harden in a Sixers jersey. The question, though, was how much and for how long? I mean, was Harden really worth as much as the eye-popping $126 million over three years that Kyrie Irving got from the Dallas Mavericks? Harden had his eye on a four-year, $210 million deal if he declined his $35.6 million player option and tested free agency. And he was expecting a contract in that range, as he had already left a sweet $161 million extension on the table from Brooklyn and turned down a two-year, $100 million offer from the Rockets. This man knew his worth, but here's the twist. Harden had little leverage to extract that kind of offer from Philadelphia. The Rockets weren't exactly rolling out the red carpet for his return with a new coach in Ime Adoka. They were looking to change the culture and go after defensive-minded players like Dylan Brooks and Brooke Lopez. The loyalty play. Now, this is where things get interesting. Harden's best shot at securing the mega contract was through a loyalty play with Morey, the guy who had believed in him from the beginning. Morey had been instrumental in Harden's career signing him to historic contracts, and even trying to trade for him when he first got to Philly. But when the chips were down, Morey wasn't picking up Harden's calls. The man who had been there every step of the way suddenly went MIA. So what does Harden do? Rather than waiting for Philly to make an offer, he, along with his representatives, Mike Silverman and Troy Payne, decided to take matters into their own hands. They picked up that $35.6 million player option, securing their bag for the 2023-24 season. Why? Well, it was all about control. Harden didn't want to be backed into a corner, forced to accept whatever offer the Sixers came up with. He had a plan, and he was sticking to it. The Sixers, on the other hand, were blindsided. They claimed they wanted to re-sign Harden once the dust settled. But by then, Harden had made up his mind. 
After the dust settled a bit, Moray decided to give Harden some space. He pledged to make an earnest effort to trade the former MVP and even started talks with Harden's top choice, the Clippers and the New York Knicks. That's when things started heating up. By mid-August, the Sixers did a complete 180. They decided to slam the brakes on trade negotiations and started planning to have Harden in their training camp. However, a close source to Harden made it crystal clear that Harden had no intention of donning the Philly jersey or participating in the camp. Harden's explosive words. And here's where it gets wild. Just a couple of days after Philly backed out of the trade talks, Harden unleashed a verbal tirade against Morey. During his trip to China for an Adidas marketing event, Harden drops the bomb. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Let me say that again. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Now, Harden later clarified to NBA investigators that the lie he was talking about was his belief that Morey had broken his promise to trade him, and that led to a hefty $100,000 fine from the league. Fast forward to today, and very little has changed. We are nearly rolling into October, and the clock is ticking with training camp around the corner. But guess what? Nothing's been resolved. The drama continues. Sixers majority owner Josh Harris recently said, the situation with James Harden is unfortunate. I want this to work out for all sides, including James, but we have to keep our eye on the big picture, which is that we're still a contending team, and most teams in the NBA will change places with us in five minutes. Now, back in July, Maury went all out in a radio interview with 97.5 The Fanatic. He went on praising Harden's Hall of Fame-worthy career, saying, James is a Hall of Famer, one of the best players offensively to ever do it. We either are going to move him for a player that helps us win now, we're going to get assets that allow us to go get a good player in the short term, or we're going to continue to wait and continue to look for other players, like a Maxi or a Joe, to step forward in that situation. The high stakes for Philly. Speaking of Maxi and Embiid, remember when Ben Simmons pulled a disappearing act during training camp in 2021? Well, Maxi and Embiid stepped up to the plate back then. Maxi emerged as a rising star, and Embiid solidified himself as an MVP contender. So, history shows that these guys can handle pressure situations. But here's the catch. This situation could go either way. It's a high-stake gamble for the Sixers. So far, Embiid has assured the franchise that he's okay riding out this heart and drama. But the big question is, how long will he remain patient? The clock is ticking. Maxi has done the same. The young gun took one for the team by holding off on a contract extension, allowing the franchise to have financial flexibility for future team improvements. Let's get back to Harden's bold move. Picking up that player option might have been costly, but perhaps it was confidence or refusing to accept the reality of a shrinking market for his services. Harden's future with the 76ers is uncertain. However, the Sixers have been proactive. They acquired Kelly Oubre Jr., a skilled scorer. Oubre, a 27-year-old forward, has an impressive performance record. He averages 20.3 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 1.4 steals per game, showcasing his skills on the court. He was a key player for the Charlotte Hornets, displaying a sharp shooting ability with 31.6% from beyond the arc in the past season. The Sixers getting Oubre Jr. shows they are planning and strengthening their team, no matter what happens with Harden. The drama surrounding James Harden's fate has certainly added a layer of suspense to this NBA offseason. His secret promises, his loyalty to Maury, and the sacrifices he made all led to a shocking betrayal of the 76ers. The NBA can be a ruthless business, and this story is a prime example. What do you think? Was Harden's decision justified, or did he hang the Sixers high and dry?